Hello. Sorry, I'm chewing something. Hello. God, it's been forever. So, uh, oh my gosh, this is crunchy. I'm eating some caramel corn. It's really good. Hold on. My hair is a mess. Just so you know, I literally decided last minute this morning to go live. So, you know, give me the benefit of the doubt. Look like I just well I did just roll out of bed so you know what I'm really looking the part today so just beware. All right. <clears throat> Ow! I bit really hard on this caramel corn and now my tooth hurts. I hope I didn't like ruin my tooth. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hello, 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 hello. Oh my god. Guys, I don't even know what to say at this point anymore, but it's truly been, like, about a month since I've actually consistently been streaming. I think I streamed a couple times, like, within the past, like, month, but I don't think that counts. Um, <laughs> uh, it's just, <clears throat> I've had a lot going on. I'm not really, I'm going to spare you the details. It's... <clears throat> Well, that's part of it. I've been really sick. Um, I I don't know why. I, I've been sick for like a month straight. That's been part of it. I don't know if there's like something wrong with me. I have to go to the doctor. I'm, I'm making a doctor's appointment just to see like what's if there's anything crazy. Get some blood work done. Because, I mean, it's you. It, it's normal for me to get sick often. I, I do get sick pretty often. Oh my god, I did not make my bed. Yeah, whatever. Um, I do get sick pretty often. I work in a school. Uh, well, I work in a school. I'm a teacher, so I do get sick pretty frequently, but it's a little bit odd, like, being sick a month straight. It's not, 
I mean, it's happened before, but I'm just a little bit concerned, so that's been part of it. Um, been really busy. The end of the school year is always really hectic, and usually your behaviors are at an all-time high, so I've just been really, really tired. I've also just, like, personally been having some things I've had to, like, work on and figure out, so... I'm going to spare the details, but yeah, I, I'm feeling a lot better. I'm doing a little bit better. Um, I really miss playing games because I feel like playing games just really helps <clears throat> my well-being because it's something I am choosing to do, something I enjoy doing. Um, so yeah, I, I want to, I want to be more consistent, um, but we'll see, um, <laughs> I, I plan this week I should be good to start being more consistent, but we'll see how that goes. You never know. And also, I feel like the weather's just been playing with our feelings. Last week, we had, like, we were in the 80-degree weather last week already in April, which is not normal for Minnesota. Um, it was really beautiful. It felt like summer last week, and then all of a sudden today, we have a blizzard. It's literally, it was 80 degrees all of last week. And then today it's like 30 degrees in blizzard. Like, how does that happen? And why are they playing? Why is mother nature playing with our emotions? I have no idea. It's annoying. Um, but that's that. Um, today, today I thought we would go on Dreamlight Valley and finish Mirabelle. I think we are literally going to be done in like not that long. I mostly wanted to... Um, just finish Mirabelle. I don't want to really play the new update yet on Dreamlight Valley until later this week. I plan on playing the new update this week sometime. Um, and then we're going to play Growing Together today. Um, it will be part two of our gameplay. We haven't played it in so long. Um, I've been dying to play more Growing Together with our family that we made. So... Yeah, I plan on playing that for a little bit, and then we'll see where how we feel from there. Sundays are usually busy because I try to clean and get ready for the week, so it's not always the days that I can play for a long period of time. But yeah, Dreamlight Valley, and then we'll play some Sims, which sounds really fun and exciting. So that's kind of the plan for the day. <clears throat> Alrighty. Um, I'm going to open Dreamlight Valley. Let's start by getting that out of the way. I just really wanted to finish Mirabelle because we were going to last week. But obviously, I was not on last week. I was nowhere to be found. I was MIA. Missing in action. This is good, but... It is... Hard on your teeth. All right, here we go. The new. There's a lot of good games coming out. Um, the new Zelda game comes out soon. <laughs> In like a couple weeks. The only issue with that is I never played Breath of the Wild. Like, I played part of it, and then I stopped playing. I never finished it. I think I have mail. Maybe not. Okay. I need to bring the meals to Anna. I think we're gonna finish Mirabelle, you guys. Oh my god, this garden is huge. It's like the Garden of Eden. So much stuff. I'm gonna pick all of this. I like how it's a nice variety. Okay. Alright, where is Anna? Anna girl. Oh my god, she's in the restaurant. A golden book? What on earth is this? Very magical mini. Oh my god, we have another mini task? That's weird.
He found a tattered old spellbook with sticky notes throughout covered in Minnie's, Minnie's handwriting. Return the borrowed spellbook to Minnie. Okay, I guess we can do that. Collect them all, little green men. Buzz Lightyear has been scouting for the missing alien toys around Dreamlight Valley. It seems like he may have found something. You'll need to talk to him to find out. What the heck? Why is there so many new tasks? I already got to level 10 with them. Why do we have more tasks? Jesus. Okay. The shop. There's so much going on. So much going on. Alrighty. Anna, I have the stuff. Here you go, ma'am. Take it all. Hey, you're here. Wow, this food looks delicious. Uh -huh. Moana brought me the new tablecloth, and Kristoff, Elsa, and I finished the table and chairs. Now I just need to put everything together. Ta da! It's ready. Well, that was very fast. <laughs> here you go. Oh my gosh, we got a whole table. Yes! Now if you can invite Mirabelle, we can get this festival of friendship started. Wow! It's happening! Okay. Talk to Mirabelle. This dress is really cute. I do like that one. That one is cute. Hmm. I want to go check out the store since we're here. Mmm, some army pants. I kind of like those. Hmm. A big globe. Hmm. Hmm. A table. Hmm. A light. Oh, this is cool. That would be perfect for, like, Elsa. Oh, this would be perfect for, like, the beach. Okay. <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm gonna be coughing a lot. It's just how it is. Alright. Talk to Mirabelle. Where is Mirabelle? Mirabelle, Mirabelle. She's up here. We will go find her, and we will start the Festival of Friendship. Because we're best friends forever. Welcome to the family magical. Uh, excuse me. Here you go. Here's your table. Hi. Oh, hey. Mm -hmm. I'm still a little sad about the magical table. Not just because it's broken, but because of what it represented. Oh. Things just don't feel the same around here. Then you'll be happy to learn that the magical table is good as new. Oh. What? Thanks to the efforts of Anna, Elsa, Kristoff, and Moana, we're ready to have a real festival of friendship, just like before the forgetting. Woo! Really? This yeah! is amazing! And something tells me you had a lot to do with it. Uh, oh, I just cooked a little. No big deal. Oh, I'm sure that was <gasps> more- uh, Oh, I'm sure there was more to it than that. I'll place the festival of friendship table near Mini Casita, and maybe I'll change my outfit to fit this special occasion. This is the best surprise ever. Bro, I like my outfit. My fit is cute. Alright, place the festival of friendship table near the casita. Oh my god, this table is huge. Let's put it right here. Oh, of course not. There's a... a oh. There we go. The Festival of Friendship. Best friends forever. Just me and the girls. Oh, yeah. Um, it's hard to get everyone in this. Okay, this is good. This is good. All right. Cheese. Aww. That's nice. Wait, wait, wait. We did it. Oh, where'd the table go? The table's gone. The Festival of Friendship was so much fun. I love this village. Me Familia might not be here, and I miss them a lot, but being surrounded by so many friends, I really feel at home in the valley. And then there's you. I have to thank you. You're always there for everyone. That's a real gift. 
You're the heart of this valley, and that's why I want you to have the magical table. Oh my god, I just get the table. It's my table now. She's giving me all the chairs as well. Wherever you put it, I can't wait to see how many fun moments we'll have around it. Oh, and I also made this for you. Now remember, you can always count on me for anything. Adios. What is it? Oh, a skirt! That's cute. And a, an outfit. Oh, wow! Well, we're done with Mirabelle. That was super exciting. Wow. We finished Mirabelle. What the heck is this? What is this thing? A new quest, a three-course thank you. How many new quests are there? So basically, um, the new update had just come out, and we're going to play the new update next time we play Dreamlight Valley. Basically, there is a new star path. It's called the Disney Parks, which we'll look into next time we play. And then... It looks like there's tons of new additional quests for certain characters. And then also, we will get to unlock the Lion King realm, which I believe is inside the castle. So, that's all the fun stuff we have looking forward to. And we still have to get Prince Eric. We still don't have that man. And, you know, it is what it is. But we, we still have to get Prince Eric. So... Um, that's that. I, I didn't really want to play a whole lot today. I just kind of wanted to finish that. So, that's where we're going to end our Dreamlight Valley excursion today. Um, it was super fun and exciting. We finished Mirabelle. Um, so yeah, that's fun and dandy. Um, I'm going to quit now. Now we're going to play The Sims. Which is the main event of the day. The, the main, the main course. Sims 4. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Come on. The Sims 4 takes a while to open sometimes. Alrighty. Come on. This is taking a while to open. I don't know why. Hold. Oh, it's going. It's going. I have no audio. I don't know why. Hmm. I wonder if my sister's awake. I hear something going on. What is this? Introducing Simspiration, a spark of inspiration courtesy of Oakland's craftsman style homes. What is that? What the heck? That's quite interesting. I can barely hear my game. Right, I have my snack. 
All right. I have no idea where we left off, folks, but we're going to just dive right in to the Eckert household. Um, um, yeah, I don't really remember what happened last time. <laughs> we're just going to keep on plucking away. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm so tired. Is it like a holiday or something? I don't remember what happened when we got, when we, uh, played last. I don't even know what we did. Items removed. Excuse me? Well, <clears throat> I have no idea what's going on, man. Welcome back to Growing Together, part two of the Eckert family. This is our girl. Oh, God, what's her name? Guys, it's been weeks since I've touched this family. I think it's Mercedes. I think that's her name. Yeah, I, that sounds about right. And then I believe this little guy is Darius. Um, he's just having the time of his life. You know, tummy time can be a rough time, but, um, that's that. We are going to continue playing with this family. Um, today is Monday, I believe, in the game. So we're actually going to have her start her job ventures, which she is just a freelance artist. So we're going to dive into her career. Last time we played, we had her baby daddy over for a dinner and things did not go quite as planned. So I think she might head on over to college campus and apologize to him for what happened between her dad and him. Um, and we might bring our baby with so they can see each other. So I think that's kind of the direction we're heading in today and then maybe do a few other fun little things with the family. I'm hoping to achieve more milestones with Darius, the little baby. Um, that would be kind of fun. Um, but I think I really think we need to patch things over with Derek because he's going to be in our kid's life whether we like it or not. So I think that is what we have to do. Um, but right now it is Sunday night. Um, we have to get them to bed. Why are we awake, bro? Your kid, your kid's exhausted. Get him to bed, bro. Put Darius to bed. What kind of mother are you? Put him to bed. Okay, let, what is she doing? This is Sasha. This is our sister, in case you guys forgot. Um, I think we should send her to bed soon as well, because she's a high schooler. She's got school tomorrow. But, yeah, we pretty much have to get everyone to bed. That's kind of where we left off last time. I believe we were kind of putting everyone to bed. Okay, he should fall asleep. He, he, he should fall asleep. Come on, bro. Okay. Yeah, I'm excited to start her career um, on Monday. That'll be good. Today's actually Sunday. But whatever. Same difference. La, 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 la. Just a little midnight sisterly combo. I love this house. I, I, I do love this house so much. I'm very proud of this house. I love this house. I don't know if we're ever, or this generation, I don't know if I ever want to move out. I really like this house. <laughs> of course, I'm going to just speed this up and then I'm going to put everyone to bed. Because, uh, you know, it's about that time. We're not really going to do much, like, playing until the morning, so this is going to be kind of boring for you guys, but whatever. I'm just going to, like, put everyone to bed. Alrighty. Alright, everyone's sleeping. I'm going to fast forward until someone wakes up. Welcome to the family, Madrigal. Who's going to wake up first? Who's going to do it? Oh, my God. The baby has awakened. Stretch, stretch, stretch. 
So first things first, he's hungry. Um, okay, I'm going to wake her up. I'm going to have her quickly use the bathroom. We are going to come over here. I think it's time that we feed him baby care. We're going to feed Darius. Good morning. It's Monday morning. Mercedes smells really bad, but, you know, we got to get that bread. We're feeding Darius, and then we'll hopefully start our job. Come on. Come on. Okay, what do we want to do with him? I think we'll bring him down here because we're going to be kind of heading down this way soon anyways. Let's go put Darius down here. We'll have him just chill in his little play area. And then we'll come and use the bathroom. We'll take a shower and kind of get ready for our work day. I want to do some freelance art today just kind of to kickstart her career. Um, I think that will be really fun. Um, he's crying. But you know what? We got to pee. So, you know, sometimes you just got to put up with it. Today is Monday, so it's the first day of high school for Ms. Sasha. Um, and she looks pretty thrilled about that. She's laughing in her sleep. Um, oh, my gosh. Milestone. What's that? Darius started moving his little arms to reach for nearby objects. Now that he can ask for toys and play with the playmat toys, Darius can learn how to adeptly use his fingers. <gasps> Did that unlock the fun skill? Not really. So when does the fun skill unlock then? Because I thought it was once you can reach toys, but maybe I'm wrong. We're going to wake up Sasha and get her ready for school today. Let's have her come over here. She's going to use a toilet. And then we'll have her come downstairs and she'll go ahead and have some breakfast. Maybe we'll have her just have a... We'll just have her grab some leftovers. That sounds good enough to me. And then she'll be heading off to high school. We aren't going to go with her today because I want to start our career. Um, come check out Thrifty. No, thank you. School starts in one hour for Sasha. Cool. I'm excited to send her to high school. Maybe she'll make some friends. That will be pretty cool. Bro, your baby's crying and you're getting on the video games. Bro, go to the bathroom. How many times do I have to ask her to go pee? I swear I've asked her a hundred times. Excuse me? Why can't she use the toilet? Is my game bugged? Can you use this toilet? What? Can you use this toilet? Okay, what's wrong with my other two toilets? Is there something wrong? She's refusing to use two of my toilets. Well, this one works. So, you know, we have one functional toilet. I think we'll have to figure out what the reason is. Maybe it's this little thing? I don't know. That's really strange. All right, we're going to get Sasha. Sasha's almost ready to go to high school. Let's get her in her outfit. We're going to change outfit. We're going to put on that, you know, first day of school outfit. I think this would be cute to wear to school. We're going to send her alone to high school. There she goes. She's popping on the first day of high school. Let's go. Goodbye, Sasha. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. At school. All right. And she's gone. <laughs> All right. Sasha's at high school. So I think we should kind of start our career. Our dad can kind of take care of Darius while we're working today. Um, today's Monday, bright and early. So let's go ahead and look. We're a freelance artist for Electrified Artists. I think we should check for gigs. This would be kind of fun to kickstart our career as an artist. Um, we have a lot to choose from. And as fun as it would be to, like, choose something really expensive, maybe we should start small and work our way up. I don't know. What skill level are we? Okay, first, what skill level are we? Because that's going to determine everything. So right now, right now, right now we are painting level six. So we could do a lot of these. I think we should do something more mid-range to start maybe. I don't really want to do something too cheap. 
So these ones are painting level 7, painting level 3. Hmm, electrical box art. We've got Grift Graft. We've got a Web 3.0 logo. Okay, that sounds kind of cool. We could design a logo. We don't want our company stuck in a Web 2.0 world, so we're working on developing our Web 3.0 strategy. We're seeking a technically inclined artist who's on the cutting edge of technology to craft a company logo that'll last through Web 4.0 and beyond. Conducting interviews today. Let's do that one. That sounds kind of fun. Our first gig, we're going to, you know, design a logo. That sounds kind of fun. She's like, hey, dad. Hey, dad, I got I got this cool gig designing a logo. You're going to be so proud of me. You're probably going to see it on the Internet when you're surfing the web. Uh -huh. Oh, my God. Did he really just get up and walk away? What a guy. Okay, anyways, um... We need to chat with the client, create logo on Sketchpad, and get logo approved. Okay. Okay. So let's go ahead. We need to go chat with our client through the computer, it looks like. So freelancer, chat with our client. So I think we need to get all the details on what we need to design this logo. I think that's kind of what we need to do. That's what I'm picking up on. We're chatting. We're like on Facebook Messenger, it looks like. Yo, what do you want this logo to look like? Oh, you know, I want it to be blue and green. And I want it to be cutting edge. Okay, okay, I can do that. So she's chatting away. That might take a while. Let's have Grandpa come over here maybe and help the baby out. Oh, he's fine. Oh, he's fine. A single mom that works too hard and loves her son and never stops. She's like the modern day Reba. <gasps> the bills. Oh my god, guys. The bills are so massive at this house. Well, let's have grandpa do that. This is his house after all. He's going to come over and pay the bills. That's what he's going to do on this fine Monday morning. Just pays casually $3,000 for the bills. Oh, let's vote on our neighborhood action plans. I feel like he would be back to the old days. I feel like that's how he would be. I feel like that's kind of how he is. He wants to be back to the old days. I just feel like that's how he would be. How long do we have to chat with this client for crying out loud? Oh, I think we're done. I think we're done. I think we're almost done. And we chatted with our client. So I hope we figured out enough about the logo. Now we need to create logo on a sketch pad. Um, so that should be fun. <clears throat> we need to... Oh, we need one. Okay. I don't think I have one. Did we ever buy a sketch pad? Did we ever buy one of these? Okay, here's a digital sketch pad. We are going to need one of these for our career. So I'm buying one. And then let's have her go ahead and she's going to sketch the logo design for this Fortune 500 company, obviously. And hopefully she can do a nice job. She's going to do that while she's chatting with her dad. So maybe she'll catch some inspiration. What? Bro, I ain't going to college. F that. F that. I'm not going to college. Not in a million gazillion years are we going to college. Okay, honestly, dad's kind of distracting us. He's kind of distracting us. Okay, he's going to take care of the baby while we work. Um, yo, the baby, he don't need a whole lot. Um, let's have grandpa come over and maybe we should have him. Hmm. 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 Back carrier. <gasps> Could we take him on a walk? 
Oh my god, could we could we take Darius on a walk with us with a back carrier? Oh my god, I would cry. I would cry. Um Can we do that? How do we do that? Change diaper feed. Put Darius in back carrier. <gasps> oh my god. I need to see this. I gotta see. Oh my god. He's in our back. Oh my good lord. Can we just like go on a walk now? Oh my god. We can like, can we like go jogging with him? Oh my god. We can. Oh my god. We can just go for a jog like that. Oh. Oh my god, there he goes. There he goes again. That's kind of cute. I want headline effects off. Headline effects off. I personally hate headline effects in this game. I don't know about you guys. This is freaking cute. I love this. Oh my god. What is wrong with Darius's eye? Look at his eye, bro. Why he looking like that? Oh my god, there he goes. That's so cute. Getting some fresh air while we get our work done this morning. I love that. That's adorable. Okay, maybe they're coming back. We'll let him do his thing. All right, yo. Did she finish? <gasps> she already did it. Okay, we need to get our logo approved. Locate the painted Logan in her inventory and submit to client. Okay. All right. Here is our logo. Do you guys want to see it? Oh, my God. This is the logo. That's uh, th that's what it is. It looks like a little stick person. Honestly, it's kind of fun, kind of fresh. Um, we're going to send to client for approval. So hopefully that goes well. Oh, my God. Approve. This is exactly what we were looking for. Keep up the great work, Mercedes. Oh, my God. The client was stunned when Mercedes delivered a brand new logo that it looked like it could last all the way into Web 5.0 world. What an accomplishment. They heralded Mercedes as an artistic luminary, showered her with a bonus payment, and insisted that she give a motivational speech at the company's next town hall meeting. Well, goddamn, I didn't know we were that talented. Well, that was fun. Um, yeah, interesting. Um, I'm going to have her make some lunch for her family. Um... Because that sounds kind of fun. Um, let's serve some brunch. Let's have some... Let's have some BLTs. That sounds really good. I personally love BLTs. Where's Grandpa? Oh! Oh my God! Oh my God! The baby's in the road. What is he doing? What kind of grandfather are you? Pick that baby up! Pick him up! Oh my god, he's trying to do tummy time in the middle of the road. What are you thinking? Oh my god, I think, I think, Grandpa. I think he's getting a little senile. I, I, I think, I think he's getting a little bit senile, guys. I, I'm kind of worried. Okay, let's bring Darius back home. Um, she's making lunch for us, so we'll have lunch once it's done. Let's put Darius down here. Um, we have a lot of garbage everywhere. I think we're going to try to clean up all the dishes and all that jazz. For some reason, we're getting... We're getting plates stuck under the microwave. Which, you know, that's kind of interesting. Alright, we're chopping up some BLTs. It's kind of fun to be a freelancer because you kind of get to stay at home, which is nice. So I am digging that. Um... Do our plants need any tending over here? Cooking is delectable. Should we say that she likes cooking? I would say so. That's a good quality to have, I think. I think it's good to do so. Maybe we should do tummy time with Darius. I think we should try to do tummy time. Can we do tummy time? Can we, can we do tummy time? We can't. Hmm. Interesting. He's cleaning up the dishes. Alright. 
We're eating our BLT, our little breakfast. Maybe what we should do is maybe we should take our son out today and go somewhere with him. I don't know. I mean, I don't want to just be cooped up at home all the time. Bro, somebody change this guy's diaper. Somebody change the diaper. Change his diaper. What are you doing? Don't just stare at his poop. Change his diaper. Do not just... What? What was that? What? Excuse me? The laugh milestone. What's so funny? Darius started laughing for the first time. The cutest of giggles would now escape him while playing with toys and interacting with other sims. More playing and socializing will lead him to start babbling. Oh my god, that's cute. <gasps> He's not thriving though. He ain't thriving. Okay, we need we need to get on top of this. Um 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 Why are we just staring at him? Let's let's help him so he doesn't get taken away by CPS. Okay, we're gonna have Grandpa go shower. Go shower, sir. Oh my god, we're unlocking so many milestones. That's cute. Look at all these milestones we're unlocking. Next, we have to learn to babble. We have to roll over to our back. And then we need to learn to grab. That's fun. I love that. Can we change his diaper, though? He's kind of stinky. Change his diaper, ma'am. Okay, now he ain't stinky. Okay, we should try to play with him. Can we play with him? Let's do tummy time. I want to try to unlock some of these milestones. Let's do tummy time. And then we can give him a toy. We can give him a koala toy. Maybe that will help him learn how to grab things. All right, tell me time outside. Right on the hard concrete, there's nothing else like it. Nothing quite like tummy time on the concrete. Oh, okay, he's going to cry. He's going to cry. He's going to cry. Oh. It's so sad. Oh. It's just so sad. Come on. I want him to unlock rolling over. He looks so angry. Like, he's pissed off. He ain't happy about this. Oh, poor guy. <gasps> he did it! I saw that! Did you guys see it? We caught it. Roll over to back. What a sight. Darius just rolled over on his own for the first time. A monumental first step towards being more independent. Running tummy time together between Darius and his carrier will train him to eventually roll over the other way. Oh. Someone was calling us. Who was calling us? Okay. Hygiene. Bro, did we not change his diaper? Did we did we not? Um, okay, let's just let's just put him to sleep. I don't care. We'll put him in here. Put Darius to bed. He's tired. Baby's gotta sleep like five times a day. We're going to put him to sleep again. I think we should go hit the town. I, I don't know what we should do. Maybe we should leave Darius home with Grandpa. Maybe we should go apologize to Derek after what happened at the dinner party. I think we should head on over and apologize. Um, We're going to send him a text and be like, Yo, Derek, are you available right now? Can I, can I come over and just, you know, apologize about what's happened and all that stuff? We're just texting them. Yo, can we come over? I have something I have to tell you. I want to apologize for what happened at the dinner party between you and my dad. And we'll see, you know, maybe he'll, he'll, uh, he'll want us to come over. I don't know. Okay, let's, uh, let's go shower. Take a shower, ma'am. It was a long day at high school. I can only imagine how smelly she is. Okay. She probably had Fyed. She's sweating. She looks stinky. Oh my god. This whole time my cam was in the wrong spot. Oh well, whatever. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> mm. 
Okay, we're kind of... After her shower... Hmm... Let's have her do her homework right away before I forget because I'm so forgetful about Sims homework. I'm so bad about it. All right, I think we will... Hmm. Hmm. Should we do it, guys? Should we go over to Derek's college campus? I think we're going to do it. I think we're going to go apologize to him for what happened at the dinner party. So Derek goes to um, college here in Brightchester. He actually lives right here. Um, he actually has a roommate as well. So let's go on over and apologize to him about what happened at the dinner party. Um, he might not want to see us. We'll kind of see how this interaction goes. But he maybe he won't want to see us. So he might be like, yo, get out of my house. I don't know. We'll see what happens. People above me are, like, running around their apartment. I can hear, like, elephant foot stomps. Sounds like a herd of elephants up there. Alright, so this is where Derek is living right now. In this little townhouse type house. He lives in this one right here to the left. We notice there's two bikes outside, so that's quite interesting. As far as we were concerned, Derek lives alone. We can actually see him through the window. But quite interesting. I don't know if he, you know, got a roommate or something. We're a little nervous about that. Um, okay, let's go ahead and... Let's knock on the door. <laughs> can we come in? Oh, we can come in. Sweet. Okay, so here's Derek. He's climbing up the stairs. <gasps> oh my god! Heavens to Betsy. We noticed there's a woman here. Quite interesting. Um, I totally did not plant her here. She totally was here. I did not create her or anything to create drama. Why would I ever do such a thing? Um, so we noticed he has a roommate that's living on the second floor and then his room is up no wait this is her room she's in his room why is she in his room bro she's in his room this is her room this is his room she's just chilling in his room oh my god oh my god he's cheering her on oh my god they're like besties are they together all right, we're gonna we're gonna come up here and uh, we're just going to come up and friendly. Let's go apologize. We'll we'll do some small talk. Let's just come up here and just ask him about his day. We're gonna come apologize to him for what happened at our house yesterday. Yo, there's another woman. Yo, and then she sees. She's like, yo, um, I'm sorry for what happened yesterday at the dinner party, but who in the freaking hell is this? He's like, oh, this is my roommate. What's her name? <laughs> He's like, oh, this is my roommate. She lives in on the floor above me, and no big deal. She just comes in to play SimCity with me sometimes. It's really nothing. We're just friends, you know? Because... If you haven't noticed, we've never officially cut ties with Derek. We've never, like, officially broken up. It's just kind of assumed that, like, he moved away and, like, we're distant. But we never, like, officially broken up. So, you know. Um, we're a little bit skeptic of this girl. He looks really sad. Oh, my God. He's like, you know, yesterday really hurt my feelings. All I wanted to do was come see you and my son. So hopefully he said, um, maybe next time we get together, you know, maybe your dad shouldn't be there. He's sad. He's really sad. That's kind of upsetting. He's like, I just really want to be a part of my son's life. But your dad hates me. Oh. 
And now, uh, oh, oh my god. And now we're arguing. You know what? My dad is the most important person in my life. And for you to say something like that about him, how rude. I imagine that's how the combo is going. She's really a gamer. God, this girl's a gamer. Okay, I think it's time. Um, we had a little bit of an argument. No, he's like, yo, I don't want your dad around our son anymore. And she's like, yo, that's my dad. We live with him. I can't just, like, tell him he can't be around our son. But let's come over here and do a friendly introduction to this girl. It's an awkward encounter. <gasps> Why is this an awkward encounter? Okay, so uh, her name is Erica. Erica Johns. This is Erica. This is who he living with. You know, she looks like she's very preppy, a preppy girl. She's quite different from us. So we're kind of confused, like, why he's rooming with this girl. Because she's quite different from his personality, you know? Um. They felt so awkward that, you know, they really just said, yo... Like, I feel awkward. I don't want you to see us right now. <laughs> what the heck is happening? So, why is this an awkward encounter? I wonder. I wonder if maybe him and Erica are now starting to like each other. And then we also still have a relationship with Derek. So... Maybe that's why it's awkward, because we're both kind of, like, in a romantic relationship with him. Which, you know, that's kind of Ako taco if you ask me. Um, his nasty laundry needs to be done. So... <gasps> and the truth comes out, just as I suspected... Just as I suspected, Mercedes was cheated on by someone she cared for and is in a jealous rage. How will she ever trust again? Embrace the change? Jealous. Yes! Yes! We are, we have a new personality trait discovered. Mercedes has discovered a new personality trait. Jealous. Learn more about this new trait in the section on the Symology panel. That's why they put bags over their head. They're guilty as charged. So she just found out, showed up at his house. She came to apologize to him. She came to say, yo, I'm sorry my dad was rude to you. And I really want you to be a part of your son's life. She comes up to his bedroom. She finds this woman that's his roommate. And she comes to find out they've been together since they started college. Meanwhile, Derek and her never cut ties with each other. They didn't know where they stood. He cheated on her. I am in a fit of rage. You know what? I I think it's time. I think I think it might be time. I th I think we need to cut ties for good. I'm going to complain about my love life to him. Yo, Derek, I trusted you. I trusted you to go to college, get a degree so you could help support our son. But you know what? You come here and the first thing you do is you find yourself a new girlfriend. Like me and Darius meant nothing to you. And you know what? You, you, you. I'm going to brag about my baby. I'm bragging about my baby. Yo, Erica, I have a baby with him. So you know what? Him and I are tied for life. You're just temporary. He is... <laughs> I'm so dramatic. <laughs> You're just temporary. I'm going to... Um, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna yell at her. Yeah. We're doing it. We're going in. Let's. It's time to yell. You have some nerve getting with a man with a newborn child when he hasn't even cut ties with his ex or with his girlfriend. You have some nerve. Get that bag off your head and face the music, ma'am. 
I can't even believe they put the bags on their head. Okay, one last time. One last time. We're gonna... We're gonna... We're gonna... We're gonna yell at him. Both of you should be ashamed. I have my son at home. And this is what I get? Screw the both of you. You have fun with your bag head life. I'm out of here. I'm I'm out of here. This is absurd. I'm I'm leaving and I'm never coming back. You know what? I'm getting on the bike. I am getting on the bike. Can I get on this bike? <laughs> Can I wheel away? You know what? Screw you. Screw you. Yeah, goodbye. Goodbye. She's waving goodbye. Goodbye. Never see you again. No, 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 no. Right around. <laughs> I've taken the bike. Can I steal it? Yeah, that's right. I'm out of here. Screw the both of you. I'm starting my new life with my son, and you'll never see him again. Goodbye, Derek. Goodbye, Erica. I hope you have a happy life with you and your baghead children. I'm going home to my son. I hope you enjoy college. <laughs> God, I literally stole his bike. <laughs> That's how pissed off I was. Can I actually take this? I can rename it. My bike, not Derek's. <laughs> it's my bike now. All right, I think it's time to go home after that fiasco. Oh, God. I have like a fuzz in my eye. You know what? You know what girls do when they're upset? They go and they have like a drink, okay? Maybe, maybe we should go to the bar or something. I think that's what is needed in this situation. Where's a bar? Is there a bar in Copperdale? We can go get some boba. No, we need a bar. We need a hardcore bar. You know what? <clears throat> maybe we'll go this way and just kind of hang out. We're, we're just going to try to clear our head a little bit after what just happened. We're just going to go walk around town by ourselves. We need some alone time, if you will. When you're mad, do you ever just need some alone time? Hi, hi Darren. <laughs> you just missed it. We just broke up with our boyfriend. Darren, how was prom? Did you go to... Was it prom that you went to? I saw your brother posted a picture of you and your girlfriend. How was it? Did you enjoy prom? Was it everything you ever dreamed of? <clears throat> Yo, I need to find a toilet. Alright, so we're just kind of on our own here. Oh my gosh, we're very sad. I'm sad. She's very sad. It says, drifting love from jealousy. Caught the love of her life flirting with another. Are they joking around or losing interest? I actually feel so bad. She's so sad. She doesn't even know what to do with herself anymore, but we're at the community center. <laughs> uh, she came here just to clear her head. You know, she has her little YMCA membership or whatever. Um, we're going to just come and use the bathroom here, and I think we're going to blow off some steam by working out. Um, and you know, the gym is kind of the perfect place to meet somebody new. Maybe we'll get our little rebound action going, because Derek broke our heart by finding a girlfriend right away. So, you know, maybe we'll find someone. This guy is painting. This guy's a painter. Maybe maybe he's interested in us. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think we're going to come blow off some steam. We're going to come punch the punching bag. I think that's the perfect way to blow off steam. All right, here we go. Post breakup boxing. Yeah, get it, girl. This is how you blow off steam. Get it. Come on, we want to see you box, girl. Hit it. Oh, yeah. That was Derek's head. All right. 
Hit him in the balls. Yep, that was his balls. Yep. <laughs> Screw you, Derek. Screw you, Erica. Okay, now we're now we're going intense. Now we're pretending it's Erica. Screw you, Erica. You took our man. You took our child's father away. <laughs> yeah, get it, girl. Get it. <laughs> What a good way to blow off steam. Ooh, Eric Lewis. Eric Lewis looking kind of kind of nice. Let's come introduce ourselves to Eric Lewis. He's kind of fine. Oh yeah, Eric Lewis. Hey, Eric Lewis. Isn't he married though? You know what? At this point, do we care? <gasps> Is this a celebrity? Aubrey Pearson. She's a global superstar. There's just a paparazzi at the community center at the YMCA. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. I'm not really seeing a whole lot of people that I'm totally interested in. Mark Andrews. I'm trying to find some men. We're, we're looking for a good rebound situation. But I don't know. I don't know why there's so many famous people here. There's a lot of people here. Scion. There's so many paparazzis here. What was your favorite part about prom, Darren? I remember prom. It was alright. I've just never been like a school dance person. So prom was just I ate for me when I went. She's gonna just eat something. She's just so depressed after what happened. Oh my gosh, is this... This is corn! It's corn! A pig love with knobs! It's got the juice! She's like uber depressed now. We need a good rebound situation. Girl, she's gonna go nap on the park bench! She's going to nap on the bench, bro! That's how depressed she is. We're ending our evening like this? Oh, Derek, he don't mean shit. Derek don't mean shit. Look at what he did to her well-being. She's so distraught. She's just sleeping on the bench. This is just not even fair, guys. Not fair. You know what? At least we have custody of our child because he's never going to see him again. That's all I got to say. <laughs> We're just napping on the bench. This is this is so depressing. <laughs> Look at everyone walking by and we're just on the bench. You know what? We can pour all of our love into our son now. We can, you know, grow in our career. And you know what? Derek, soon he ain't going to be shit. He ain't going to be shit to us. And that's that. That's how it ought to be. We'll fight. We'll, uh, you know. I have full faith. Mercedes is going to find someone better. We will. Oh, we will. Don't you worry. All right, I think I think it's time. I think it's time to go home. We're gonna go. We're gonna go sleep in our nice warm bed. Go give our son a, a hug and tell him everything is gonna be okay and that his dad's an asshole. That's how we're gonna end our evening. All right, let's go home. I really am hoping our dad isn't awake because I know our dad's gonna be super concerned that we were out this late. It's just out of character. So hopefully. Hopefully our dad's you're not waiting for us at the door. You know how dads do that kind of thing. Alrighty. So, where's dad at? Okay, good. Dad's at work, so we get to sneak in the house before dad even notices that we were gone this late. Our sister was watching Darius for us. Alright, so we need to go give him some attention and then get him to sleep. Let's go kiss him. Let's comfort him and cuddle him and then we'll go ahead and put him to bed she is exhausted after this long day of 
treachery. Darius, it's gonna be okay. Mommy loves you. Mommy will always take care of you. Your dad ain't shit. He really ain't. Good night, sweetheart. Mommy's always got your back. Aw. Oh, what? Put him to bed. Aw. That's so cute. I'm gonna cry. Is anyone else about to cry? Bro, that's so cute. Aww. Alright. I think it's time for everyone to kind of go to bed. It's getting late. It was a horrible day. But, you know, tomorrow will be better. Oh, our sister came to check on us. She's like, yo, you good? You okay? Oh my god, he's screaming. Alright. Let's see here. Um... Did we do... Girl, do your homework. It looks like our dad just got home after a long day of fishing. He's going right to bed. He's like, yo, I don't get paid enough for this. He should actually probably retire soon. Honestly. He's, he's you know, done his fair share of being a fisherman. He's probably ready to retire soon. But we'll save that for a different time. Um, the Starlight Accolades, the Festival of Youth. We don't need to do any of that. Wait. The, the Waxing Gibbous Moon? What? Meet a celebrity. Bro, we're not going to meet a celebrity. TV season. Okay. Oh my god, our sister's so worried about us that she's doing her homework in our bed. She's making sure that both of us are okay. Oh my gosh, what an angel. Our sister is so great. My real life sister would never. <laughs> She'd be like, yo, get over it. <laughs> oh. Is homework almost done? We got, girl, you gotta go bed. You got high school in the morning. That shit's intense. She's gonna finish her homework and then we'll put her to bed. I think one of these days we'll for sure go to high school with her just because that'll be kind of fun. But we'll save that for a different time. I'll be home. Perfect. All right, everyone's sleeping for the night and then we'll wake up for Tuesday. Once uh, somebody wakes up. Oh. Why is he awake? Bro, go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, bro. Whatever. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let her sleep. Oh my god, it's thundering out. He's probably terrified. We're getting quite the rainstorm overnight. I I personally hate thunderstorms too, so I feel that. Oh my god, is he afraid of the storm? Look at him. He's like, yo, this shit's scary. He's like, what is this? Oh, and then suddenly he's happy. So you know what? I think he's good. Oh, he's going to sleep. He's going to sleep? Yeah, go to sleep. Go to sleep. Yep, okay. He's out. He's out like a light bulb. Oh god, Sasha's got to go to school. Wake up, girl. Go, go. You gotta go to school. Alright, Sasha's heading to high school. And once again, I we will send her alone today. And then we'll go with her sometime. But I, I really want to focus on Mercedes' story first. Alright, it looks like dad's awake. Dad is awake. For some reason, only one of my toilets works. So we got to go figure that out. I think our dad is going to make us some breakfast. He's going to be like, yo, I'm so proud of my daughter. She created a logo for a Fortune 500 company. I'm so proud of her. I'm going to make her her favorite French toast for breakfast. Because, you know, he's a good dad. He knows that she's been going through it a little bit with Derek. So he just wants to be there for her all right we're sleeping in dad's gonna make us breakfast i think we'll wake up soon when darius does and then we'll feed him 
And then I think we'll do another art gig today. And then maybe we'll go to like the art center to get some inspiration. That might be kind of fun. This is spoiled. I, I need to remember to put things in the fridge. I'm so bad at remembering that. I'm so bad at that. <coughs> He's just working away in the kitchen, getting that French toast to perfection for his daughter. He knows it's her favorite. And it looks like Mercedes is awake and she's happy. Oh, girl. She'd be looking good. She's like, yo, men aren't shit. I'm just living my life independently, looking like this. Oh, girl, you're going to find someone better. All right. We're going to come and... No, 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 no. We need to feed your son first. Let's go wake up Darius. He loves to be woken up in the morning, so I'm not ever scared to wake him up. There he is. Big stretch. Um, Let's go ahead and feed him. Ahem. <clears throat> we need to feed our son, of course. And then we'll bring him downstairs with us. So we're feeding him this morning. So cute. Aww. That's adorable. Okay. And then we're going to bring him and put him down here. Perfect. Oh my god, there's fleas. There's a flea situation. Yo, Dad, can you go pick up the fleas? <laughs> We're gonna go pick up the fleas. That's kind of nasty. Um, you know, that that's kind of gross. And then we're gonna bring him downstairs with us, and then we get to go have our French toast, which is I I love personally. I love French toast with a little bit of whipped cream, powdered sugar. Put him down in his little area and then she's going to come in here and to her surprise she's going to see that her dad made her favorite. She's like, oh my gosh, dad, you shouldn't have. And yo, like honestly, she should probably put on some clothes. Um, But you know, it is what it is. Her dad's probably used to this type of thing. He has two daughters after all that he raised as a single dad basically. So I think he's kind of used to that. <laughs> He's just, he's just doing his cleaning duties. I love him. He's just cleaning the house, making sure it looks all nice for his family. And then he's going to come over here. Maybe he'll come just help her out. He knows she's stressed out. And then he's going to come over and, um, can we change his diaper? Change diaper. He's going to come do the morning routines of, of Darius come change his diaper maybe do some tummy time everyone loves tummy time can we do tummy time with him maybe not oh my god they're coming to talk to each other oh my god the first interaction so sweetheart your sister told me you were out late and she says she was really worried about you yeah Derek cheated on me what I knew that guy was trouble <laughs> well sweetheart you know i'm always here for you and darius you don't ever gotta ask for help i'm always here men ain't shit oh my god no no i hate these things dust bunnies are so annoying okay we're gonna have dad we'll have dad uh vacuum that can be his job for the day um <laughs> i hate the dust bunnies in this game they are so creepy. I just, uh, nah. Okay, let's go. Let's just vacuum our whole house. I think that's what we got to do. Let's just go vacuum around. It's getting dusty and musty in here. We also have to figure out the um, toilet situation because two of my toilets aren't working and I, I don't really understand why. I think maybe it's the plunger next to it blocking it. So we could just move the plunger possibly. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cleaning up the house. Oh, yeah. Look at the dust swirling. Just doing our due diligences. Okay. I think we should also uh, maybe... Oh, what is she doing? Oh, she's cleaning up. Good. Okay. 
All right. Um, he's sleeping. Perfect. Perfect. Darius is sleeping. Okay, I think we should get dressed for the day. I don't think we should be wearing our little our little getup we got on right now. I think we should put on some proper clothing. Uh, maybe this outfit. This outfit's kind of cute. Our little post breakup outfit. Thinking of sunnier days coming. Um, let's go ahead and get another gig today. I think that would be a good way for us to, uh, you know, get our mind off things, put our mind into our artwork. Um, a forensic sketch artist? No. I want something more high level, I think. There's not a lot of high level ones. Okay, let's do another level six. Electrical box art. The local government is offering a no bid contract to electrified artists for electrical box art. Perhaps they thought the agency's name made its contractors uniquely qualified for the job, or maybe it's just another example of government largesse. Either way, the net result is money in your pocket should you take this job. Just drop your proposed painting off at City Hall for rubber stamp approval and you'll be on your way. I think we'll take that one. That one's for the government. That's like very official to get a gig for the government. So we need to create a painting of any style on the sketch pad. And then we need to meet with the client. Okay. So we need to create a painting of any type on the sketch pad. This is for the government. So maybe, I don't know, for the, the government, maybe we should do something more classic. Let's do that. I think that would be a smart decision, a nice classical painting. So she's just going ahead and sketching on her sketch pad, the painting for the government. That, that'll be pretty fun times. Fun times. <clears throat> Hopefully we can get that done. It's, it's kind of nice, like, working at our own pace. That's why I like the freelancer careers. Kind of work at your own pace. So Derek, uh, not Derek. Our dad, let's, let's go vacuum down here. Our dad's just kind of vacuuming the house. We don't want any fires. Because believe it or not, you can get house fires because of these dust bunnies. It's kind of annoying, but it's kind of like fun. I like having the house like get dirty over time. She's just sketching away. She's getting her painting done for the government. No big deal. We're just painting for the government. He's just out in the rain. I love him. He's just like... Taking it all in. He's the best. Okay, let's see. Do we need to water any of these? Oh, we can go sell all. He can make some money on his peppers. I love that for him. I love that for him. We can fertilize things too. Hmm. Did he vacuum? Bro, come vacuum. I wanted him to go vacuum. New personality trait. Should we make him neat? I think so. I think he's a neat guy. He has a very neat home. He's just vacuuming away. Vacuum in the kitchen. Perfect. We're going to put our French toast in the fridge, of course. It's just kind of another rainy day. Did we finish? <gasps> Yay, we finished the painting. Now we need to meet with client. Click on Mercedes and select meet with client. All right, freelancer. Let's go meet with our client. I think she's going to go by herself. And then she's going to like turn in the painting. So that should be exciting to see what they have to say. Oh my God, what? Do you want the frickin' ecological police are here? Of course, I bet we're not in compliance, which is so annoying. All right, her grades are up, which is good. Sasha is home from high school. Hey, girl, hey. And she's gonna go eat something maybe soon. That would be a good idea. Um, let's have him do the laundry as well. I think we're starting to get a lot of laundry going, perhaps. Yeah, let's do all the laundry. We gotta keep up on this kind of stuff. Otherwise, it starts to, like, build up and it gets annoying. Can we add? Oh, it's already, it's already full. Okay, wash laundry. Come on. Come on. 
Okay. The laundry is going. Perfect. Uh, Darius, he's doing fine. I really do want to, like, work on some of his milestones. But for some reason, it all doesn't always let me do it. But it's whatever. Yo, she's just having some Krabby Patties after a nice day of high school. I'm afraid this household is not in compliance with the following action plan. Clean energy production. Shut up. Shut up. God. Get out. She's just walking in our yard. Get out. Go home. Find something better to do. Like, I cannot. Oh, my God. They just had an argument. Why are they fighting? Okay. Anywho, um, Mercedes hopefully will get home soon. Until then, we have to kind of take care of Darius. Let's have Sasha come spend some time with him. She'll come wake him up, and maybe she'll try to do some playing with him and stuff. Let's have her play with Darius and do tummy time together. Ah, yes. <gasps> We're giving him toys. Yes, a milestone. Oh my gosh, is he learning how to grab? He did! Oh my god! Roll over to tummy milestone unlocked. Darius has gained the ability to roll over onto his tummy. Now he will be able to start tummy time on his own to progress his gross motor milestones even further. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. I love that for him. Okay, we're doing more tummy time. More tummy time is always necessary. Let's go see um, his milestones. He, uh, yeah, can we just view them? Okay, here's his milestones. He learned to reach. Okay, okay, so the next ones, we still need to learn how to grab. They, they just left him on his tummy. Learn to creep. After learning a roll over in both directions, continue to practice tummy time will help Darius build muscle and increase coordination and allow him to start creeping. What's creeping? That sounds weird. And then we need to learn to babble. So we need to talk to him. Yo, they just leave him like this? This is unfortunate. Oh, she's showering. What is she doing? Take a bath. Okay, well, maybe Grandpa can come on over and help him. They just kind of left him here. Let's go do more tummy time and let's play with him maybe. And then is there like ways we can talk? Should we like talk small talk? Talk to Darius. I bet talking to him will get him to babble. <gasps> the grab milestone. With all his might, Darius managed to pick up and grab onto something for the first time. Continue to play with toys to strengthen the fine motor development. Well, we're just doing all these milestones, aren't we? Next is put toe in mouth. Yo, that's gross. Putting the toe in his mouth. All right. Grandpa is spending time with him because his mom is not home. He's got to eat soon. He's really got to eat soon. She's still meeting with her client. Still eating with the client. Cool. All right, Sasha, could you, like, I don't know, maybe we'll just feed him since mom's not here. I don't want him to, like, die. We'll go bottle feed him, and then, honestly, we should give him a bath maybe later tonight. He's getting a little stinky. All right. Auntie to the rescue. She's going to go ahead and feed him. Oh my god, you can feed him on the couch while you watch TV? That's cute. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. I love him. I do. I really love him. I can't wait till he grows up. Like, I love the baby stage, but also, like, when he grows up, he's gonna be so cute. I love kids in this game. I'm excited for that. Um, I think our dad works. He works at 9 o'clock. He works the overnight fishing shift, so... He will be doing that... She's just hanging out with him. She's burping him. Oh, so cute. He loves his auntie. Oh, why is she crying? Yo, why is she crying? Is it like a sad TV show? Okay, we also got to do our homework. Let's go ahead and do our homework. She's going to go do her homework. 
He's gonna go clean up this bottle. He's like a very clean freak. He cleans up everything. Look at him go. Like, if there's a mess, he just starts cleaning it. <gasps> the babble! Oh my god, we're doing so well. Blah, blah, dag, dag, ga, ga. Is that simlish? Not quite, but getting close. In a very basic form, Darius is starting to communicate his feelings. Socializing with more sims and even stuffed animals will surely help shape those syllables into full words. Oh, cute. I love when babies babble. That's so cute. Yo, he's kind of like underneath the couch. Um, you know, it is what it is. Mom will be home soon. It is what it is. Um, we'll give him a bath when we get home. We're almost home. I'm going to speed this up a little bit. I want to see what our, our uh, client said about our art. We're like at the city hall talking to the government. The city council board was radiating excitement over Mercedes's proposed electrical box art. They were effusive with their praise and even the mayor himself shook Mercedes's hand in a photo op for the press. Oh my god, that's exciting. That's really exciting. Okay, well, um, let's go ahead and go see our child. He's really upset. Um, I kind of want to give him a bath. Um, baby care. Give a bath. Let's go ahead and do that. And then maybe we'll put him to sleep. He's getting kind of crabby. But a bath might be necessary. He's starting to just smell really bad. So, I think that's what we'll do. I'm so proud of her and her artwork. Her artwork is going really well. So, um, hopefully soon we'll start to get some really good payouts on our gigs. But we got to get our art skill up as well. Bath time! This is so cute. I love this. Bubbles! That's so cute. Alright. Yeah, I think also the next step in our career, we really got to try to get our art skill up, or our painting skill up again. Our dad just went to work. I kind of want to... I don't know. Maybe we'll do some painting before we go to sleep. Um, We're going to put Darius to bed. I think he's pretty tired. Yeah. We'll put him to bed and then maybe we'll stay up a little bit and paint a little bit. I think that will be good. So he's going to sleep and then we're going to go resume this painting. This one I might keep. I might keep this painting. I really like it. I really like those figure paintings. <clears throat> and then this one. I'm going to put this one in our inventory too. I'm going to start to save some of her paintings. So that we can like decorate a future home with her artwork. I think that would be kind of cute. Our sister is very intrigued on what we're doing. She's just watching us paint. He is so upset. Yo, calm down. Calm down and go to sleep. Hard times. Anger management. Sometimes I just get so angry that I don't know what to do with myself. How can I deal with things when I can't even... I would say talk it through with someone. I'm all about talking it out, you know? I think that's a good solution. Working out is a good solution as well, but I just, I always think talking it out is best. Alrighty. We're just painting away. Doing a nice little painting. It looks like she's gonna go to sleep. Hit the hay, if you will. Uh, maybe we'll pause our... I kind of want to get to level 7 painting. Level 7 painting will open up more gigs for us. So that would be kind of nice. I'm not going to lie. I kind of want to get to level 7. This is such a cute painting. I don't know why, but I love this one. I think we'll sell this one, though. I don't know. I just feel like we should sell that one. I'm going to unload and move this laundry to the dryer. You got to keep up on the laundry. Otherwise, it just it, it, it is not good. And then let's add this one to the washing machine. 
And then let's wash the laundry. And then let's go pee. And then let's take a shower. The toilet's broken. I'm just going to replace it. I don't even care. All right. Our dad is home. He's exhausted. I, I really think we should probably have him retire soon. He He's one of those guys. He just loves his job so much, you know. But, yeah, no. You know how it is. He's being a stickler about retiring. But I think we should have him retire and throw a little party for him soon. Yeah, I think that would be a good idea. All right, we're just going ahead. We're doing our thing. We've got to go to the bathroom. I'm going to have to go into build and buy and figure out these toilets. I don't know why they're suddenly not working. I swear they worked last time we played. But maybe not. Maybe they never worked and I'm just insane. All right, let's see here. <clears throat> Okay. <clears throat> I think it might be this. I think it might be the toilet plunger if I if I had to take a guess. Let's try that and see if it works. I swear these toilets work last time we played though. But maybe maybe it's the toilet plunger cuz they're not in any bad spot like I don't know. All right, we're going to sleep and it's going to be Wednesday. <clears throat> a milestone slept through the night. They said it wasn't possible, but Darius finally slept through the night. No fussing, crying or interruptions, just peace and quiet and maybe some snoring. Well, that's exciting. I feel like he has slept through the night before, but maybe maybe I was wrong. He is awake. He is hungry. How are we doing? You know, when your kid's hungry, you kind of just have to deal with it and wake up. All right. So she's going to wake up and feed him. And then maybe we'll go eat as well because we are quite hungry. We're waking up kind of early today. I think maybe today, maybe we'll take a break from gigs. Maybe today we won't take a gig. And I kind of want to take Darius somewhere today. Maybe we could take him to a park Take, we could take him to the community center and we could go get a workout in, you know. Because there's a little baby area there, so maybe we could bring him there. That'd be kind of fun. I feel like we should bring him somewhere. He hasn't really been out into the world yet. He's kind of just been cooped up at home. So maybe we'll take him somewhere. I kind of wouldn't mind us going to the community center again and just like getting a workout in, having a nice little day to ourselves. So that would be kind of nice. She's going to go eat some food. Sit up. Oh my god. <gasps> no. I missed it. Bro, homie's sitting. Darius learned to sit up. Now he can experience more things life has to offer. Practice standing to work those leg muscles. Use the high chair for the first time to explore baby foods. Or scoot around to explore. With a new view of the world, Darius can now experience different levels of fun. Wiggle to music. Play with a dollhouse or nesting box to stay entertained. <gasps> oh my god. He has... Does he have the fun yet? Oh my god. Now he has to worry about fun. Oh my god. This is exciting. Learn to creep. Oh my god. He's he's doing the thing. Can we see him move? Scoot here. I'm sorry. I gotta see this. I gotta see this in action. Come on. I wanna see him scoot. Oh, she's picking him up. What is she doing? Oh, okay. Okay. She's putting him down. Can we scoot? I gotta see this. <gasps> oh my god. Dude, this looks so weird, but it's so cute. He's scooting. 
Oh my god, he's like an actual child now. Look at him. He's growing up. He's growing up. Oh my god, this is so exciting. He's a scootin' boy. Maybe we should do more tummy time. I, I am loving these milestones. This is great. Oh my gosh, she's just watching him. That's so cute. She's got her little French toast. She's got her French toast and she's just watching him scoot. That's so cute. She's a proud mother. Tummy time. Bro, come on. You can sit up on your own. There ain't no way tummy time th is that bad for you. Okay. I think I think while we have energy, everyone's happy. I think her and Darius are going to go to the community center. And they're going to go get a workout in. I think she she's going to focus on her health, her mind, her career, and her son. Because now that her and Derek aren't together anymore... I think that's what we got to do. Um, I'm going to come over. I think we should change his outfit. We're going to send her to high school alone. <clears throat> Let's change his outfit. Let's put on something cute. We're taking him out for the first time. He's never been out into the real world yet. Um, let's just put him in his little outfit. We're going to the gym. Mommy needs a workout, and you can go play with the other babies that are there, maybe, if there's other babies there. We'll put him in the little baby area, and then he can just kind of hang out there. Um, let's have her change his diaper. He's a little stinky. A little stinky. And then, can we change our outfit? Because we're looking kind of rough. Let's put on our gym outfit. Yeah, let's put on the gym outfit. All right, we're ready for the gym. We got to go get our workout in. I think today we might maybe take a simple gig at the end of the day just for something to do. But overall, I think we'll kind of take the day off. That's kind of the perks of, you know, working at home. All right, we're going to take Darius with us today. This is going to be a new adventure. It's going to be a new adventure for us. Hi, Pikachu. How have you been? Long time no see. Long time no see. Alrighty. We are at the community center. We brought Darius with us. I think we'll go find the little baby area for him. There's like a little, yeah, a little baby area, which is super cute. We can come and put him here. Um, maybe we'll get some toys out. Can we take these out? I don't know. Hmm. All right, let's go. Oh, there's some blocks over here. This area is so cute. I think he can play with um blocks now and stuff. So we'll go put him over here. Mommy's going to go work out, sweetheart. You'll be just fine if you need me to scream and holler. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and go get a workout in. We're going to start with a little bit of a, a little bit of a no sweat run, you know? Just a little bit of a warm-up before we go hit the weights. So just a little bit of a jog. You know us. We're focusing on ourselves. We don't care about no man. Oh my god, is there another? Why are there so many celebrities? Judith Ward is just working in the front desk. Why are there celebrities at the community center? I don't get it. It makes no sense to me. Alright. Can I... Can I instruct him to go play with blocks? Can he... Can he just go? Can I... Can he move there himself? Can he not leave this area? Oh, wait. Play with toys. <gasps> oh, my God! Oh, a chew. He's got allergies. Yo, I didn't know he could play with this. This whole time, I had no idea. Oh, he's so cute. He's playing. Aw, that's cute. All right, we got our warm-up in. All right, now let's hit the weights. We got our little warm-up in. Now we're going to go do some heavy lifting. Heavy. We're going to get jacked. Absolutely jacked. No, you don't need to go check on him. No, no. Leave him. He's fine. 
There's so many people here. It's so strange. He's screaming. Oh my god, he's screaming his head off. Oh, it's rest time. Okay, go to sleep. Go to sleep. You're fine. Oh my god. Try go night night. Try go night night. Take a nap. Oh my god, you can't even go out with your own child. Now we're doing some weights. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I will survive. The Sims music is just getting better and better. I've been I same old, same old. Thank you for asking. How about yourself? I've been okay. I mean, I've been really busy. That's why I haven't been on. Um, but overall, like, I'm doing all right. Do you guys hear that? It's I will survive. All right. And then we're going to end our warm up punching the punching bags, pretending it's Erica and Derek's face. Oh, yeah. Our favorite part of our workout. Yeah. Take that. Take that, Derek and Erica. Screw you. You left me a single mother. Screw you for cheating on me. Screw you. Our favorite part of our workout. Oh, my God. I did not know he could sleep like this. This is cute. I had no clue. Well, that's freaking adorable. He's just taking a little nappies. And then we'll go ahead and feed him. Our workout's almost done. We're just ending it with some boxing. How is our fitness skill? Oh, we're skill five. That's pretty good. Is there any other cute guys around? We're kind of looking for a rebound. Since Derek ain't shit. We don't care about him anymore. We're kind of looking for a rebound. This guy's a painter. Aaron Thornton. You know, he's always painting up here. Maybe we'll go just give a friendly introduction. He's a fellow painter, you know. There's nothing wrong with, you know, just going and saying hello to a fellow painter. Nothing too serious, you know. Nothing too crazy. I will survive. This area is so beautiful. Maybe we could put our son on our back. We could put him in a back carrier. All right, we're just talking to Aaron over here. He's a fellow painter. His artwork is pretty good. Look at how good his artwork is. Yeah, you know, Aaron, we're a freelance artist. Yeah, I just, you know, I just did artwork for the government. No big deal. He's like, yo, that's pretty cool. Give me your number. And we're like exchanging numbers. Maybe we'll do a collab someday. A painting collab. Is it possible for anyone to come and just like yoink my kid? I don't think it's possible, but it'd be kind of scary. All right. My girl's kind of tired. I wanted to do more, but... She's getting kind of tired. We might have to wrap her up for the day and go home. Maybe we'll do a small gig. Oh, the splash pad. Oh, my God. This looks fun. I cannot wait till Darius is older. Then we can come play here. Oh, my God. That's adorable. I love the splash pad. That's so cute. I can't wait till he's older. We can take him there. I think we'll save going to the splash pad for when he is older. It's probably not as fun without a kid. Gosh, this place is bopping. This place is really bopping. She's drinking some coffee to get some energy back. <laughs> drinking her cup of joe. And then I think it's time to go home. I think we'll head back home. We had a good workout. We drank some coffee. It's time to go home. Oh. God, I, I'm not used to streaming. I'm already exhausted. I haven't even been on for two hours. I wanted to play a good chunk of The Sims today. 
maybe we'll play for a little bit longer and then we could go maybe build something. I've been into building a little bit off stream. All right, we are home. We are home. I think maybe we'll end the day with just getting a small art gig. I think that would be kind of fun. Um, let's go ahead and feed Darius. Should we try to feed him in the high chair? Nah, let's let's save that for next time. I don't want to do all the gameplay in one day. We'll save high chair for next time. He is getting fed, and then we'll go just put him down, and he can just kind of do whatever he wants. And then we need to use the toilet. I want to see if these toilets work now. Because for some reason, it's not working. I don't really know why. It doesn't make sense. It does not make sense. Our dad is just chilling. He's doing the laundry as he should. The toilet doesn't work. It says the shower's in the way. Bro, the shower isn't by the toilet. What? Why does only one of my toilets work? I really don't get why it's not working. Oh, our sister's home. Yo! She's home. She looks like she had a stressful day. So we're just going to leave her be. All right. I think we are going to go take a nap on the couch for a little bit since we just got done with the workout. Um, he's just chilling over here. Maybe we'll have him play with the toys. That's so cute. I honestly did not know they could. I didn't know they could play with that. Learn to creep. We're actually, I think we're doing really good with milestones. I think he's almost got most of them. So then, then we just kind of wait till he's a toddler then, right? I'm not really sure. Alrighty. Um, how is she doing? She is just, you know, she's stressed out from high school. High school can be stressful. I think we're still gonna just do our homework right away. Maybe when her sister wakes up, maybe they'll go out for boba or something. Maybe they'll go on a little Wednesday night sister date. Because, you know, they don't spend a lot of time together. I think we need to make them spend time together still. That'd be kind of nice. Do, 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 do. Is he going to sleep? I think he's going to sleep. Oh, calm down, bruh. Alright, she's doing her homework. Maybe when she's done with her homework, we'll go out for boba. That sounds kind of nice. Nice little sister outing. I'm trying to get her to rest up. So then she's not exhausted. A nice little power nap. All right, Sasha's almost done. Keep going with your homework, girl. Keep going. Hi, Ian. I am back. Let's sweat. Should we say that Cyrus likes fitness? I think I think he would be a guy that likes fitness. Like, he's not super, like, buff or anything, but he likes to, you know, get his body moving, you know? Is your homework done? Okay, Sasha's homework is done. I think she's going to go ask her sister. She's going to be like, yo, wake up, you lazy bag of bones. Can we go get some boba? Let's go ask our sister if she wants to go out. Yo, wake up, girl. The time's a ticking. Let's just ask her. Let's, let's just, you know, say yo, um... Let's ask her about her day and be like, yo, can we, like, go get some boba? That sounds kind of fun. Oh, that's so cute. All right. I think it's decided we're going to go get boba. Let's have her put on a different outfit. Like, you never know who you're going to see when you're getting boba. She might see the man of her dreams. Okay, let's put on... Um, 
something, you know, it doesn't have to be anything crazy, but something a little bit nicer. We'll just put on our main outfits. All right, let's go get some boba. He got a belly. <laughs> he does a little bit. All right, we're going to go get some boba. Boba time, sister time, thrifty. Get it? Thrifty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the sisters are going. The sisters. <laughs> Thrifty. <laughs> I'm so hungry right now, guys. Oh. Oh. <coughs> Why am I getting sick again? It's comedy night. The thrifty amateur comedy night has begun. Grab the mic and amuse yourself and bystanders with your fledging repartee. Bro, I don't know if we're funny enough. This guy's kind of nice comedy night contestant. David Santos. Is he husband material? We're kind of searching for a husband, but, you know, I don't know if he he's my type. I don't think a comedian is really our type of guy, um, but you know. Um, this is the boba shop. This came with the high school years um, expansion pack. Um, I haven't really played it that much, but um, can we come up and order? Can we order some boba? Yo, um, hello? Can we, can we order? Oh my god, are we We're going for it. Oh my god, we're actually going for it. Oh my god, they love us. Oh my god, I didn't know co comedy was our calling. Oh my god, so thumbs downs. Oh, this this girl is a hater. She's giving us like boo. She's a hater. Everyone else is eating it up, but that girl, she's a hater. I want some boba. I came here for the boba. Is there anybody working? How do you order boba around here? Do you got to make your own? Like, this is a little bit rude. Can we... Oh my god, another person. Can I, like... Can I boo her? Can I boo her? That'd be kind of funny. Oh my god, I did not think it was going to be comedy night. <laughs> How do I order? I wanted to come out for boba with my sister, but apparently they don't serve boba when it's comedy night. I guess we'll have to come back another time. Are everyone's leaving? We're the only two people here? Bro. Bro, when can I get some boba? Who is this? Thrift store owner. Oh, she's the thrift store. This is a thrift store auntie. Oh, I see. Who is this? Drew Metcalf. A fashion enthusiast. Dwayne Tala. Samuel Martin. You know what? This is a bunch of bogus. I wanted some boba, but it's comedy night and they're not, the, the thing's not open. You know what? Then we take our sister out to the bar. We take her to San My Shoe when we go to the club. Our teenage sister, we go to the lounge, of course. If they ain't serving boba, then you know what? We're going to have some virgin Bloody Marys. I don't care. <laughs> We're taking out our high school sister on a Wednesday evening. No big deal. 
sometimes when your sister has a bad day, you gotta just take her out to get some, some cocktails, even though she's underage, you know? Did I cut my hair? No. I'm just wearing it in a ponytail. Whee! I actually have really long hair. I actually do need a haircut. Um, these are my baby bangs that just kind of sit there. So maybe that's what you thought. Because when I have my hair down, you can't see my baby bangs. But, you know, they're banging. <coughs> All right. Who is this? Anthony Stewart. Okay, okay. All right, now we're now we're pumping at the at the lounge. Now this is where we got to be. Our sister is a musical extraordinaire. Maybe we'll have her come sing. Maybe someone will come notice her. I don't know. Or karaoke. Oh, guys. This place got karaoke. We're going to come have them sing a ballad together. Oh, this is great. This is great. The sister duo. Oh, my God. This is going to be really good. I'm excited. Yo, she's in her swimsuit. All right, here we go. Here we go. It's happening. Hold on. Let me turn this up for you guys. So then you can hear it. Uh, game options, audio, music. You guys are going to want to hear this. All right, here we go. They're going to sing a ballad together. What? Excuse you. Bru no, we're singing a duet. Come on. It's sister night out on a Wednesday school night. We are singing a ballad. Okay. <laughs> okay, our sister is so much better than us. Like, she is so good, and then she's really bringing it down. Oh, that was so cute. Okay, that was adorable. We had the crowd eating out of our hands. Look at the crowd. All right. Um, I think it's time. Oh, naked man on the guitar. Ah, yes. Okay. Um, maybe we'll have her come sing by herself. Okay, because she actually is a good singer. And Mercedes really just brought down the whole performance. Um, I think Mercedes is going to go swim. <laughs> She's in her swimsuit. She really said, I'm swimming. <laughs> okay, maybe she's not as good as we thought. Okay, yo, yo, yo. Let's have her do a solo. She's going to sing a pop solo. Oh, Fool's Prayer is really good. This is the one. All right, here we go. She's got a solo. This is her time to shine. That's what I'm talking about. What? Excuse me. Yes, she can be active. My God. The spin? Oh, she's a performer, guys. She's a performer. This is a one. She can get it. She's good.
Let's go! Okay, now she is good. Her sister, not so much, but you know, it is what it is. Well, that was a fun evening. I really think we ought to go back home because it's almost midnight and it's our sister's school night. So I think, um... <laughs> I don't know why this is just so funny to me. I don't know. I don't understand. She's like literally gives no fucks. She is just chilling. I love that for her. Oh my god. She's just chilling. I love Mercedes. She's so funny. All right. I think it's time the girls head home and take care of themselves for the next day. That was a nice little day off. I really enjoyed that. <laughs> I really enjoyed that. <laughs> I love that. <clears throat> I've been sick for like a month straight, guys. I can't even, I'm not even exaggerating. That's why y'all haven't seen me. Like, I think I'm, like, there's something wrong with me, but I'm too scared to go to the doctor and find out. All right, we're going to have her go take a very, very brisk shower and go to sleep. Our dad doesn't even know that we were out because he's been at work. And you know what? He doesn't need to know. He doesn't need to know that we're avoiding all responsibilities. He really don't need to know. So, um... I'm going to go put Darius to bed, even though he's not really tired. Um, when mommy's tired, we got to go to bed. So that's what we're going to do. Um, and then we'll just kind of sleep until the next day, I suppose. Um, we've really done a lot. Um, I think we'll play one more day before we end this episode of the gameplay. And then maybe we'll go build something. I've been working on a couple builds lately. <clears throat> so I yeah she did not die I just was not expecting to see her floating like that that really caught me by surprise shut shut up shut up mommy trying to sleep mommy just had a wild night at the club anyways ambitious I, I do th see him as ambitious did he get a promotion again he earned another raise I love that I love that. He he's so great. Um he earned a promotion. He's ambitious. Um I think we're going to let him work a couple more days and then I think he, it might be time for him to retire eventually. So, um he he's getting, you know, up there in age. Let's go have some leftovers and then we'll send him to bed afterwards. And then everyone's just kind of sleeping through the night until the next day. Until the next day. Darius is sleeping, even though he really doesn't want to. It is what it is. Is there anything coming up on the calendar? So today will be TV season premiere day. Football team sports day. We've got... Ooh, Friday night's got a lot of stuff. There's the Festival of Light, Cheerleading Team Sports Day... Then Saturday's Finchwick Garden Fair. And all that jazz. Alright, we'll play one more day with the family. And then we might go do some building for a little bit. I'm going to have to get off eventually. Sundays I usually have a lot of crap to do. But if all goes well, I'll be streaming this week. If all goes well. Which, you know, sometimes all doesn't go well. So... But I, I think I think this week should be better than it has been. So hopefully it continues to be that way. All right, who's gonna wake up first? Of course he's up. Oh my God, a milestone! In the middle of the night, Darius learned how to creep. Using his little arms, Darius successfully held his weight on all fours. A tricky step before he can learn to crawl. Now is a great time to practice crawling to take it a step further. <gasps> now we can practice crawling. He was just like doing workouts in his crib. By himself. 
He was just doing it by himself. All right, mommy's gonna wake up. We're gonna feed him. Let's feed him and then let's give him a little cuddle. <clears throat> and then we'll bring him downstairs. And then we'll kind of get our day started. I think we should definitely do a gig today since we took yesterday off. Which I think there's nothing wrong if you work from home, you got a child you're trying to take care of. Plus, you know, you're trying to live your life. I think it's okay to take some days off. But today we definitely got to get back on that grind. You watched the Mario movie yet? I have not, unfortunately. I have not had the time to go see it. Um, but a bunch of my kids, um, in my class have, and they've been telling me about it, so I do already know a lot about it, because, you know, they like to spoil everything. So, yeah. I don't know why these toilets aren't working, so I'm gonna have to figure that out. I'll do that later. We're taking care of Darius. It is TV season premiere day. So maybe as a family, that would be kind of cute is as a family later when Sasha gets home from school, we could watch it together. That might be kind of sweet. A new TV season. A new season of The Bachelor is on tonight, folks. What? Excuse me. Your child cannot take himself down the stairs. Go get him. Oh my gosh. He's trying to leave without him. What a mother. Mother of the year. I'm actually, it's crazy because Derek used to call us all the time, guys. Like, he used to call us all the time. And now that we had the falling out and we officially told him we're done, like, we have not heard one word from him or his sneaky little snake. But um, I'm hoping we don't ever run into them ever again. I'm, I, I don't ever want to see them again. But, you, you know, we, we it's a small world. We might run into them someday. So. Um, Sasha has to go to school soon. I'm going to wake her up. She's going to go eat some leftovers. <clears throat> go eat some leftovers. And then we'll kind of, once Sasha goes to school, we'll kind of start our day. Our dad is almost up. Maybe we'll have, have him go do his bathroom duties. Darius can do tummy time on his own, right? Yeah, he can do tummy time on his own. That's kind of cool. He can just kind of do it on his own now. That's exciting. All right. Um, we need the toilet. This is what sucks. We have like one functioning toilet. I don't know why our other toilets aren't working. I've tried everything. All right, we're going to send Sasha to high school alone. Next time we play, we'll for sure do one day of high school and we'll like go with her. And I'll show you guys what it's like to go to high school with her. And then I think we should get her more involved, like maybe join a club or something. We need, we need more to her story. And we want to see her pursuing music too. So we're taking a bath. Darius is just chilling. He's honestly doing really well. Oh my god. Time for wiggles. Darius has a case of the wiggly wiggles. Got to get moving. Oh my god. It is happening. He's starting to be wiggly. That is not good. That is not good. He's doing tummy time by himself. So am I done with the communication I think we're done with the communication uh, social milestones, and it looks like the life ones, the first, are all done. It looks like gross motor might be done. So I think now, I think we have to kind of teach him to, like, stand and crawl. I think that's our job. All right, it looks like Mercedes is going to go right ahead and do some painting, so more power to her. She wants to do a little warm-up painting before she does a gig today. Maybe we should have her use the bathroom quick so she doesn't pee her pants. And then she's going to do some painting, and then we'll look for a gig. Maybe we can get her to painting level 7 before we go get a new gig so we can get one of those level 7 gigs. That would be kind of nice. Can Grandpa teach him how to stand? Maybe not.
Alrighty. Alright, I wanted her to get to level 7. That'd be really great. Sasha's last math test was not her best work. She got a so-so grade, which could really bring down her average. Should she ask to do some extra credit or just try to get a perfect grade next time? Um, I think there's nothing wrong with asking for extra credit. Hopefully that was the right answer. Sasha's teacher lets her do some extra problems. The teacher would rather see her understand the concept a little late than not at all. She gratefully completes the work and earns a few extra points on her grade. Yay, that's exciting. So it all worked out. It all worked out. Are we level Are we level 7 yet? No. We're getting close to painting level 7. I would like to be level 7. Oh my god, this is really cute. Let's sell that one. I really want to get to level 7. I'm going to put up another painting until we get to level 7. Then we can get a level 7 gig, which would be really exciting. <gasps> oh my god. He's calling. Hey, Mercedes. I've been thinking about getting to know Greg Dawson better as a friend. Do you think the two of us should hang out? You know what, Derek? I could care less. I could care less. I really don't care. And then and then he says, yo, also, this weekend I want to see Darius at least one of the days because according to our court papers, I get to see my son. So we're like, okay, fine. Saturday you can see him. Now leave me alone. To be honest, I'm not sure. Just leave me alone. Ugh. Of course, we have to get a phone call from him. We're trying to get over him. You know what? He has a new girlfriend. Why is he still calling us? Like, I really don't get it. Um, but, of course, we have to let him see his son because that's how, you know, custody battles go. So, on Saturday, we're going to have to take Darius to see him. That's going to suck. That's going to suck. <laughs> Yo, honestly, like, he used to call us all the time. So, like, I'm happy that he's not calling us as much. I'm not going to lie. Okay, we're almost to level 7. Almost there, almost there. And we're level 7. Yay. Okay. So, let's get a gig and let's get a new gig for level 7 painters. So, if we look on here, is there any level 7s? No, there's not. What the heck, man? I just worked hard for nothing. Okay, well. Let's do this one. This one's only a level four, but it pays $1,500. Underground art collector. How do you feel about the reappropriation of famous paintings held in private collections? Moral gray area or justified usage of artistic skill? I'm not talking about stealing anything. Just a little forgery, my friend. Let's be straight. If you're going to be a Debbie do-gooder, don't bother applying. But if you're willing to roll up the sleeves on your smock frock and get painting, then we've got a job for you. This one's like illegal. I like it. We're doing some illegal paintings. All right. We need to study reference images, create forgery on Sketchpad, and get forgery approved. We're committing an art crime. Okay, we need to study the reference on the computer. So our dad's going to have to get off the computer. But she's just sitting there, so, you know. Oh, my God. Okay, let's, uh, let's, uh, can we, can we put him to bed? Put him to bed. He is having a hard time. Okay, we're going to come down here. We're going to go freelancer. Let's go study those reference images that we're going to create forgery. That's kind of concerning, but, you know, it pays really good money. I would have shoot him and say we happily, <laughs> happily lived after. Happily ever after. Okay. He's just chilling. All right. Oh, Dad, there's nothing to see here. I'm not going to be copying these paintings. I'm just looking for inspiration. Our dad doesn't need to know that we're a thief and a criminal. Honestly, sometimes you got to do what you got to do as a single mom to make money. You know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. And I'm not saying to go out and commit crimes, folks. I'm just saying that sometimes you got to do what you got to do. 
And that's all there is to it. Yo, go to sleep. Just sleep. Go to sleep. If you're tired, then close your eyes. Like, what does he want? Okay. So, unfortunately, Saturdays, you know, next time we play on Saturday, we're going to have to, you know, deal with Derek again, but whatever. Hopefully, he doesn't bring his girlfriend because I think I would go ballistic. Um, create forgery on Sketchpad. Okay. Um, we need to... Uh, create forgery. Yeah, this is great. This is, this is wonderful. I hope this doesn't ruin our career or anything. Uh, you know, we don't want to be known as that artist that steals people's work. That would be horrible. But, you know, it, it is what it is. We're just sitting <laughs> committing forgery by our dad. No talking. Commit your forgery so we can finish our job for today. She's just doing her thing. Once our sister gets home, we'll watch the new TV season premiere um, as a family. That's usually what my family used to do. If there was like a new episode of America's Got Talent or something, you know, then we would all watch it together. No, go c commit your forgery, bro. Did she finish? Oh, she did. She finished. Okay. Get forgery approved. Locate the forged painting and send it in. Okay. So I need to locate the forged one. The forgery. This one must be the forgery. I think this is the forgery. Okay. Let's uh send it in for client approval. And it looks like we did a good job. Approved. This is exactly what we were looking for. Keep up the great work, Mercedes. After submitting the forge painting, the true brilliance of the art collector scheme came to light. The collector wasn't interested in adding Mercedes' painting to his own personal collection. No. The collector was stealing the original and replacing it with Mercedes' forge copy. Mercedes was initially alarmed at the risk of being caught, but some extra hush money from the collector got her to look the other way. Oh my god! We helped a criminal today. Uh, honestly, I'm not mad about it. We did make $1,800, so, you know, I am not mad about it. Um, I'm going to have her go grab some leftovers so she's not starving to death over here. We're going to wait for Sasha to get home, and then we will go ahead and watch the TV premiere. Our son is needing a diaper change and food, so maybe we'll have Grandpa come do that. Well, we're going to have to come wake him up, and he might not like that, but it is what it is. I don't want him to be taken by CPS. All right. It looks like Sasha's home. Her grades are up, which is good. Um, let's go ahead and bottle feed him, and then we're going to change his diaper. And then we'll put him back to sleep. Then we can put him here, and he can sleep there. Maybe. Oh, my God. What just happened? Um, excuse me? Does he have the black plague? What is going on? Is he sick? Scratchy. It feels as if there's a swarm of invisible insects marching all over him. Wait. It feels as if there's a swarm of invisible insects marching all over Cyrus's skin. Oh my god, we gotta go to the doctor. Yo. Yo. This is insane. How do I go to the doctor, man? He's got, like, skin disease. And he's touching the baby. And spreading it to the baby. This is not good. Alright, baby, go to sleep. Well, now that Cyrus has the skin plague... Um... <laughs> Cyrus has the skin plague. <laughs> um, honestly, it is what it is. Um, we're going to all watch the TV season premiere as a family. Um, that'll be fun and exciting. So watch Peace is the New Orange premiere. 
Peace is the new orange. It's kind of like orange is the new black, I would assume. We're going to watch it as a family. Because that's what families do. Here it is. It's like Indiana Jones or something. That's the vibes I'm getting. Oh, he's on fire. He's in a pool. This is quite intense, if you ask me. I'm sorry. This is not for babies. I'm sorry. You don't feel included, but it's not for babies. It really isn't. All right, we're watching it. Hopefully they enjoy it. It's kind of cute. They're they're having a fun time as a family. Yo, dad, what's on your skin? Oh, you know, it's just the skin plague. It's fine. It can be treated by medicine. Actually, I think medicine might cure it. So maybe we'll have to order some medicine. I don't know, man. Oh my god, calm down. I think there's like a football game. Okay, well, that was the end of the premiere. Um, Mercedes liked it. Sasha's like, yeah, you know, it wasn't my thing. And then Cyrus is like, yo, I couldn't even pay attention. I feel like I have ants on my skin. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, she went right to sleep. She says, I'm out like a light switch. All right, let's have Cyrus go buy some medicine because I think that might cure his skin plague. Um, we're going to order some medicine. I think that might cure it. Um, and then we can go ahead and take the medicine. Is that going to help? That did nothing. Wait, Cyrus has taken medicine and successfully combated his cold. Oh, thank God. Okay, the plague is gone. That is how you cure the plague. Good to know. Good to know. <laughs> and then, okay, so let's have Sasha. Let's have Sasha go ahead and do her homework on the rocking chair. That actually seems really cozy. I would love to do my homework on a rocking chair. Um, I think there's a football team sports day. Thursdays from 5 to 10. Build up skillful football throws and be the winner. Hmm. Well, she's not really the football type, so that's just not her thing. She's more of an artsy girl. Like, if, if we could do, like, an arts or music club, that would be great. I don't know if that's a thing, though. Cheerleading? No. Uh, football? No. Cheerleading? No. Prom? Oh, God. We'll send her to prom once she, like, maybe has, like, a love interest. And they can go to prom together. We'll make sure she goes to prom at least once. Um, she has 79 more days as a teenager, so she's fine. She's fine. She's fine. I usually play on long lifespan. I really like to, like, have them live a really long life. We might change it down a little bit if it gets too lengthy, though. So everyone's just kind of sleeping. They're just sleeping. Sasha's doing her homework. Just doing her homework. We never bought a fish. Did we buy a fish? <gasps> we need to purchase a tetra fish. I love tetra fishes. <gasps> Our tetra fish. Let's name it. I want to name it Avocado. There's our fish, Avocado. He's so sweet. Let's go. Let's go. Can we can we feed him? I don't think we can. I don't think we can feed him. Oh, well. It is what it is. Bum, bum, bum. We got to start taking pictures as well to put into all these picture frames. We got to get, like, some family photos. So maybe we'll have to go to, like, a photo studio soon and take pictures. We haven't purchased a camera yet, so we gotta do that. Is she done with her homework? She's almost done. Oh, she is done. She is done? Is she done? Oh, she is done? I can't tell. She's just holding her homework book. Oh, she is done. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, honestly, um, I think we did a lot today. I think this is a good ending point 
And we'll kind of pick up where we left off next time. Next time, I think we'll probably go to high school with Sasha one day. We'll continue our freelance art career. We're going to continue to help Darius with his milestones. And then Derek is requesting that he see his son over the weekend. So unfortunately, we're going to have to bring him to see his dad. And hopefully his girlfriend's not there. But if she is, we'll have to deal with that. Um, so we'll have to do some type of outing with Derek, unfortunately, but that is kind of how it goes when you have a kid with someone. Um, so yeah, I think we'll end our gameplay here today. Um, we got a lot done. I feel very satisfied. Um, I'm going to exit to the main menu. I don't know. What happens to your character when they get old? Do they just die? Yes. They do just die. Uh, your sims can die of other things as well. They don't just die of old age. Um, your sims can freeze to death. They can... There's just so many ways they can die. They can die in a fire. They can drown. They can... Um, there's, there's lots of ways they can die. They can get smashed by a bed. Like... <laughs> um, but yes, they can die of old age. If your sims live, like, a, a full lifespan, um, and they just get old, they do just die of old age. Like, you'll kind of, like, get notifications that they're start kind of, like, their life is ending kind of a thing. And then all of a sudden the Grim Reaper will show up and they will die. But you kind of know when it's coming because you can watch their lifespan bar. And once their bar is full, that means they could really die at any moment of old age. Um, so, yeah. This is what I've been building. Um, this is the world that I've been building in. Um, I'm trying to recreate everything. But I'm starting in Willow Creek. Um... And I've built all of these ones so far. Some of them are incomplete, but this is the one I've really been working on. This is going to be a little bed and breakfast. Which I think is turning out really cute. It's going to be like a little rental property. I know, but you know, it's kind of like the circle of life. Everybody dies at some point, you know. So, you know, in The Sims... It's always great if they live a full life and they die of old age rather than earlier because Sims can die earlier. But yeah, that's that. Here's my bed and breakfast. Isn't it cute? Oh, why is it so like laggy? Oh, there we go. Isn't it cute? It kind of goes with the neighborhood. So like there's homes in this neighborhood. I built all these houses. And then this is a retirement village over here. So there's just old people that live there. It's like a little retirement village. And then some like family homes. And then this is a bed and breakfast on the corner. So like it's a rental people can come stay at. I'm not done with it yet, obviously. But I'm working on it. Um, I, I got most of the outside done. Um, so the downstairs is going to be like kitchen and all that crap and then upstairs i'm gonna make two like rental units i know doesn't it look cute i spent a long time working on this i gotta finish it i i just don't feel like building right now i thought i did but i don't know if i do i'm working on that one right now and then uh, so this whole neighborhood's done I'm working on that bed and breakfast. This whole neighborhood's done except for these two houses. I gotta still finish. And it's mostly like furnishing. And furnishing is like the death of me. It usually takes me so long to furnish something. Because I'm so particular about how I furnish things. And like just do anything I guess. So. Um. Yeah. I'm so hungry. I think I'm going to make steak and rice and some type of vegetable. That sounds good. I'm suddenly getting another cold. Like, I just got over, like, thousands of colds. So this one I'm also working on right now. My game is so laggy. I don't know why. Um, I'm working on this one right now. Um, I just have to furnish it. Like, I got a lot of the outside done. 
But this one's gonna be a flower farm. So like the family is like florists. And then I'm gonna build them a flower shop that they own. It's kind of cute. I have finished the upstairs. The upstairs is furnished, but the downstairs is not done yet. I started it, but it's not quite there yet. Um, and then this one is built. I just gotta, like, this one has no family yet. I have to still make a family that lives here. And then I still gotta furnish it. Um, this side is done. All three of these houses are done. Which is good. I tried to make that neighborhood like look like it's kind of like darker homes. I'm having a glizzy. <laughs> I hope you enjoy your glizzy. And then this is like the rich neighborhood that I'm still working on. This is uh, like the main street with all the shops and stuff. I gotta finish that. But these are the glitzy and glam houses. So, yeah, that's what I've been working on off stream a little bit. But otherwise, I haven't been playing, like, any games. I've been a bit late. Well, not lazy, but, like, busy. So, that's that. Well, that was super fun. I thoroughly enjoy playing The Sims, and I'm excited to play more. We will play more this week. Um, I hope you enjoyed our Growing Together gameplay today. Um, I hope you enjoyed Dreamlight Valley today as well. We didn't really play that much, but we got Mirabelle done, which was really exciting. And then next time, we will get to play the uh, Lion King update, which will be really fun. And then there's also some new quests that they added to the game in general, so I'm excited to see what those are all about. Um, I'm gonna go and do my laundry. I have so much laundry to do today i have i haven't done laundry for like over two weeks i've just been so sick and just not really able to function so um i have so much laundry to do i gotta clean my kitchen i gotta get ready for this week at, of school and all of that but i hope you enjoyed the gameplay today i was really excited to play today i know i've been really like m.i.a but um this week, I'm hoping I'm able to be consistent. I do want to stream tomorrow, so if if everything goes well, I should be on tomorrow, but you never know right now. It's kind of a, it's kind of a bad time of the year right now, so yeah, I, I'm hoping to play more this week. If you don't see me for another two weeks, well, this is goodbye. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I've been streaming like once every two weeks for the past month and it's been bad. But um, yeah, anyways, I hope you have a good rest of your day. Um, I hope to be on tomorrow. If I'm not on tomorrow, I will see you next time, whenever that may be. Um, I had thought about posting a schedule for this week, but I don't want to post a schedule until I know I can be consistent. And like, I, I feel that I feel that this week I can do it. But also, I don't, you never know. My, It's just kind of crazy lately, so. But yeah, I hope you have a good rest of your day. Bye, Ian. Goodbye, Pikachu. Um, And I'll see you next time. I'll see you next time. Hopefully, it's not in two weeks. <laughs> Bye.